Vastu Shastra, an arcane building practice, has been revived. And today, those who live, work or pray in a Vastu building talk about the mysterious powers of its good vibrations. Vastu always helps you to enhance the feeling of peace. And it's a feeling, it's a vibration, a wonderful vibration full of peace and serenity. From the grandeur of the imperialists to the pomp of the moguls, India is a land full of some of the finest architecture on earth. But there is more to some of these designs than meets the eye. The Taj Mahal, the seventh wonder of the world, was built using the sacred design system of Vastu Shastra. Each of its four doors face the main cardinal points of the compass, which allows the Earth's invisible magnetic fields to pass through the center of the building. In ancient India, people believed that the forces of the cosmos could be harnessed through architecture. Vastu architects believe the life force within the Earth generates a vibration. Therefore, nothing is lifeless, from the smallest grain of sand to the statues carved in stone. Everything is alive and resonates with energy. Based on this belief, Temples in India are nothing less than representations of the human form. The dome of the temple is the head, the pillars, the arms, the basement, the feet. So we create houses or buildings, even temples like human organism, our living organism. That is why we say when we go to the temple, you, you find a kind of vibrations coming out of from the central shrine our sanctum and you also send out your own vibrations. If these two vibrations resonate with each other, you enjoy what is called bliss, peace. Dr. Ganapati is a living legend in the world of architecture and he is spreading his wisdom around the globe. Our Vastasana is actually directly concerned with invisible and visible things. He is helping architects rediscover Vastu, which he believes is the fundamental principle of all building design. Dr. Ganapati believes it dates back 15,000 years. These old texts, written in Sanskrit, contain the sacred teachings of Vastu Shastra. This is original work dealing with Vastu Shastra. What I was telling you, it's a science of energy and matter. So this contains the substance of Vastu Shastra. So this is handed down from generation to generation and I am the last generation to receive this and keep this in perfect custody. Dr. Ganapati calls Vastu the matrix of civilization. It has influenced architectural design all over the world. Even Chinese Feng Shui is believed to have originated from Vastu. He says it is not based on any magic formula. It is pure science. Architecture is defined as the supreme achievement of mathematics. Here mathematics has got a very deep meaning, not 5 plus 4, 3 plus 5, that is not mathematics. More than that, it is not our mathematics, it is mathematics of the universal being. It is all about light, space, fire, earth, water, the essential elements that make up the universe. Vastu basically means living space and acts as a bridge between man and the forces of nature. Many Indians believe that by tuning into the mysterious powers of magnetic and gravitational forces, people's fortunes can be radically altered. But how can something as simple as bricks and mortar change your luck? Is it really possible to build the perfect house, one that is not only functional and aesthetically pleasing, but one that can also envelop its occupants in a blanket of contentment? Mr. Santanam is a true believer in Vastu. His life was beset with problems 
until he turned to a Vastu practitioner. And all through my business, I was having all economical and business problems. And I was having my own domestic problems also. And uh, at the later on, I found out that the house where I, where I was living was not according to Vastu. After finding out the thing, I consulted all Vastu experts and they advised me not to live in that house. After occupying this house, I am quite happy. The original designer of Santanam's house is Kritiha, one of Dr. Ganapati's top students. She designed the perfect Vastu house. The dimensions of the rooms and even the positioning of the nuts and bolts have been planned according to its sacred measurements. The shape of the house should be square or rectangular. This is because Vastu architects believe a network of energy lines cover the Earth's surface, forming a grid. Only when the house is orientated along these cardinal points will the cosmic forces be able to penetrate the building. Irregular shaped houses are said to upset the flow of energy. This building is exactly facing east. Morning the sun ray will cross through the entire building. After 12 o'clock afternoon, the entire sun ray will pass through the building. That is exactly where all the human beings will get the energy. Here you can see this is the main mother wall, which consists of 9 by 9 square. Within this 9 by 9 square, we have the puja room, kitchen in the southeast corner, southwest is the master bedroom. As per the Vastu Shastra, if we have the entrance in the fourth module, this brings name and fame to the client. This comes as no surprise to Mr. Santanam, who's adamant that living in a Vastu house can make a big difference to your life. The center of the building is the key to its spirituality. This place where we are standing now, it is exactly the midpoint of the building, where around the whole building revolves around this midpoint. This place is considered to be the most sacred place in the house and used for all auspicious purposes. Like all converts, he speaks endlessly about the mysterious vibrations that resonate throughout his house since Vastu came into his life. The vibration we get all over the body, the entire family gets the vibration when we live in a house of Vastu, that is what the most appealing part of it.